been a little over a month since the OnePlus 3 or 3T received Android Audio through a closed beta program and now it's finally available in the form of open beta version 25 and 16 for OnePlus 3 and 3T respectively. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick review of Android Audio ROM on OnePlus 3T and also I'll be showing all the newly added audio features in action. And if you guys are impatient like me and wanted to install this Android Audio ROM right now, then I'll be showing a step by step guide to install it. Excited? So let's get started. OnePlus is among the few companies who fulfilled their promise by updating their last year flagship devices to Android Audio 8.0. And in my testing, I found that this update is pretty stable but being an open beta ROM, some bugs are expected. More on that in the later part of the video. Talking about the aesthetics, everything looks just like the stock Android Audio that we saw in Pixel devices. By doing the swipe up gesture, you can access the app drawer. By just tapping and holding an icon will trigger the app shortcut feature which is actually very useful and will save you from few clicks. For instance, you can directly take a video or selfie using this app shortcut feature. Additionally, there is also a very cool feature known as Notification Dots which is introduced in Android Oreo. Now, this will basically allow user to see notifications they have missed without pulling down the drop down menu from the top of your screen. The notification shade is also redesigned as now you get 4x3 tiles and swiping right from the home screen will get you to this shelf as usual. Now there are lots of Oreo features that you will be getting in the first batch of Android Oreo Beta ROM. One of the most interesting feature is the picture in picture mode which is basically a special type of split screen window that should be particularly useful for watching videos while performing other tasks. Next up we have autofill API that simply try to help apps manage password and form a better data than the previous versions of Android. The autofill app stores and secure user data such as addresses, username and even password to assign autofill apps. It will automatically show you the suggestion for your username on a specific app. Once selected, it will automatically fill the password and now you're good to go. Next up is the Hi-Fi Bluetooth Kodak and this one is my favorite. As we all know, Bluetooth has always been criticized for its lower audio quality when compared to a set of wired headphones. Thankfully, Google has added a handful of high quality Bluetooth Kodaks to Android Oreo which is hidden inside the developer's option. By using these Kodaks, you will definitely find significant improvement in the audio quality. It supports Kodaks like Sony LDAC, SBC, AAC, APTX and APTX HD. Other cool features include notification channel that lets you choose between less useful and more useful notifications for a specific app and a smart text selection which uses Google's advanced machine learning techniques and bring the ability to recognize text as an address email or a contact number and will show related options. Snooze notification that will make the notification go away for a specific time then come right back when the time is up so that you never miss any of your notifications. Now, if we talk about the performance, then I must say that I'm pretty impressed. Initially, when I installed this ROM, I was not expecting this to be very stable as this is the first build. But after using it for a few hours, I was impressed with its stability. Everything like camera, audio and fingerprint is working as they work in a stable ROM. In my usage, I found that the performance is top notch. The UI is fast and responsive just like an stock ROM and there is no lag while switching between apps and games. Moving forward to its camera which is also working just fine. Both front as well as back shooters can click some really awesome pictures and during my usage the camera app doesn't crash even once. In terms of camera quality, I didn't find any major changes or improvements from Android Nougat so don't expect it to perform better than Android Nougat's version. The battery backup is also decent. With a moderate usage, I am getting about 5 hours of a screen on time which is almost similar to what I was getting in Android Nougat and that really disappoints me as I was expecting some improvements in battery department. Hope they will improve the battery backup in the final Oreo build. Now according to OnePlus, there are few known issues like fingerprint actions may be slower than you are used to, shortcut to access Google Photos is unavailable. There is also some stability issue with NFC and Bluetooth and you can also expect some performance and compatibility issue of third party apps. So all in all, I think the first Oreo build is quite stable and if you are impatient like me then you can install this right now on your OnePlus 3 and 3T. I had already made a full tutorial video on how to install open beta ROM which I am merging with this video so you don't have to go through with many videos. Now let's see how you can install it. The prerequisites are first. I will highly recommend you to take a backup of your device before proceeding. Second, your battery should be at least 60% charged. The first thing that you have to do is to download the updater ROM for your OnePlus 3 or 3T. 
After that, you have to download the Fastboot zip file. I will leave the download link for both the files in the description box, so do check out. Once both the files are downloaded, put them in a separate folder. Now extract the Fastboot zip file in the same folder where you put the ROM zip file. Once that is done, head over to the device setting and find about section and tap the build number several times to enable developers option. Now go back and click on developers option and enable USB debugging and connect your device to PC via USB cable and now you will see the drivers will start installing. Once that is done, switch off your device, then hold power button plus volume down for few seconds until you see the OnePlus logo. Now you have successfully booted into OnePlus recovery. Now select English as your primary language, then from here select install from ADB, then select OK. Now your screen will be prompted as you are in side load mode. Now you have to connect your device to the PC via USB cable and head over to the folder where you put the ROM zip file and extracted fastboot zip file. Now hold shift and right click on mouse and click this option which says open command window here. This will basically open the command window. Now type ADB devices and press enter to confirm that USB drivers are installed properly. This will basically list your device. Now type adb space sideload space oneplus and press tab. This will automatically fill the file name of the rom zip file. Now press enter and the rom installation will start. This will take up to 10 minutes. So relax and do not remove the USB cable otherwise your device will get bricked. Once the installation is completed your device will automatically reboot and again the first boot will take more time than the normal. After boot is finished, you have successfully updated your OnePlus 3 or 3T. So guys, if you like this video and find it useful, then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. And don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.